All right, so I have like a quick rant or a question to ask about the Flash's inconsistencies throughout the Flash movie. Um, but first of all, let's talk about like the things that I did enjoy, and that was for one, the Flash's ability to phase, which is showed, and which is pretty cool, and also his ability to like shoot lightning, which is different from the TV show version. Um, but yeah, so at first I was like a bit confused throughout the movie because. Uh, the lightning color that they showed for Barry was like conflicting throughout the film, but I recently realized that it was a suit that he had that turned his lightning yellow uh, because of his like ability to dissipate energy and something like that. So, apart from that though, there were like multiple inconsistencies that I noticed. So, number one, when both Barry's time traveled for the very first time, uh, they came out of the portal and their previous bodies were still. I mean, they seemed to kind of vanish their previous bodies, right? making us think that when they time travel, they inhabit the previous versions of themselves. But then they later contradicted this when Barry goes back to take the can of tomatoes and he sees himself earlier in that day. So, which means that when you go back in time, you can still see and interact with the previous version of yourself. So which one is it though? Because I'm pretty sure the very first time they jumped, right? The previous version of, them, of themselves would have been like, confused as to why there's another version of themselves running around and doing things differently in the battlefield so that was just like one really kind of like it didn't make sense in that moment uh, number two how exactly does the chrono bolt work i'm asking because is it a like a place and method within the speed force that anyone can access irrespective of the space that they are in for example if john runs so fast that he accesses the chrono bolt at 2 p.m. in California, will Mark show up in the same Chrono Bowl if he accesses it at the same time in Texas? Or is it that there's only like one sphere and Chrono Bowl available and you can enter that same sphere from any location but it depends on the time? So for example, if John enters um, from California by 2 p.m. and stays until 10 p.m. to 10 p.m., Will Mark enter the same sphere if he runs from Texas at 2.05 p.m.? Will he see John in that same chrono, chrono bowl or sphere? So that's another thing that was kind of like confu confusing to me. Uh, or is it that there are like multiple chrono bowls in one universe in that like one speed force and it's incredibly vast and like you have to run around until you find the chrono bowl that someone is inhabiting? I say all this because like how was Dark Flash finding the older Barry? Was he running back in time from the future? And was he running through like a vast location until he found that sp uh, specific Chrono Bowl that Ezra's Barry was accessing? Or was he in the, excuse me, or was he in the Speed Force and then he showed up at this one location that everyone shows up in? And then was he just running far back enough until Ezra's Chrono Bowl appeared? So, yeah, I don't really know the answer to this, but let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, I do wish that they would have spent, like, more time fleshing this out, because now it's kind of, like, complicated, and like I said, it contradicts itself. But, um, yeah, on another note, I started a new channel where I'll talk about, like, the real-world events and keep this channel as, like, a entertainment-only based channel. But, yeah, I'll try it out and see how it goes. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Peace.